To add kinematics, you need to break the current hierarchy where the feet are under the COG. You can break off a few joints and reparent them to rebuild the hierarchy that you need. This reparenting happens off to the side. Then you will blend the results back into the original skeleton hierarchy, which is important to make sure that the bone to form functions properly. So let's zoom in here and we're going to branch off another delete joint node. We're going to take that, display that. We'll now go in and select the joints we need. We need the main, the COG, the pelvis, and the two heels. And we're going to build a, a hierarchy out of those. Press enter. Now, at first, we ended up deleting those joints. What we want to do is delete non-selected so that we're working with these joints. So the next thing we want to do is add a reparent joint node down. And this will allow us to build the hierarchy we need here. So we're going to click the plus sign. We're going to click on joint one. We're going to select the two heel joints, press enter. And then we're going to click the main. So we're actually parenting them to the main control now instead of to the COG. So now we can take this and reparent, put this into the rig pose. We're gonna go back to here. Um, so what we wanna do here is we wanna to, want to press the S key and just select all of those. And they add all of these now are listed uh, into here. And by listing them in here, these are the things that will be carried forward uh, into, uh, into the final skeleton. Now what we want to do is, instead of this just going directly into there, we're going to add a skeleton blend node. We're going to put that here. We're going to feed the mirror into there. And then we're going to put the rig pose into the other side. Then that's going into bone to form. And that creates what we're looking for. So rig pose here gives you these controls. Uh, and we're going to blend those in. Now when we have this here, we want to go world space. So it works within world space because it can get, see how it got a little wonky there. We want to be in world space so it works uh, properly and blends that into the final system. So if we go asset, save asset for a dude animation rig, you'll see that now we're seeing those controls here uh, instead of all the other ones. And that's, um, that's important because we're starting to pair off certain things that we want to control and putting those back into the rig for the animator. Now what we'd like to do now is add in some control geometry, things that we can use to select this more easily. So we're going to add in a circle. And we're going to set the primitive type to NURBS. And this is going to be uh, ZX. We're going to go to Open Arc and do a uniform scale of uh, 0.2. Now add a color node. And this will just allow us to identify this a little bit more. Uh, and we're going to make that. Uh, Let's make that a yellow. Once we have that, we're going to put an attach control geometry node down. And we're going to put that in between here. Now we can feed this into here, but not quite yet. What we need to do is put a name node down. And we're going to put that under here. And we're going to put a name in here, which is main control. Now this can be fed into here. Now that doesn't attach it right away, but we can put this plus sign down and we can say, click on this, select the main control, and then we go main control. So now that geometry is attached there on the character. Now we can take this and let's Alt drag that twice. We're going to put a merge node down right in the middle here. And we're going to feed the other two circles into that merge node. For the second one, let's change a couple things on here. We're going to change the uniform scale to 1, 5. And we're going to go to the name node and call it COG control. We're going to change the third circles to 
0.075. And we're going to change the name here to Feet Control. Now we lost the template there, not the just let's let's get that template back. So now that we have that, we can go back to here. We can add two more here. So we can go first and say, let's give me the COG here. And we're going to put that with the COG control. And you see that moves up there. And then we're going to take this and we're going to select the two heel joints. And we're going to attach the feet control to that. And there you go. So if we go down to the rig pose, uh, you'll see all of that. Now, currently, sorry, we should set the display flag down here. So now that we see that, we see we have controls for the two heels, and that will help us in selecting. So if we're in the rig pose here, um, you can use these circles to help you more easily find, for instance, the left heel or the COG instead of going directly there. Now, we're not going to do that with every joint in the hierarchy. Like we're not going to do it here for the pelvis, um, but uh, for the rest we could. Although if we wanted to, um, you know, we could certainly consider, you know, maybe here we could add in the uh, for the COG control we could maybe add in the pelvis and now yeah now we'd have two of them that would help us in case we wanted to control the pelvis down the line so that works out pretty well now in order to get this to work for the asset as a whole what we want to do is we want to do bring up the parameters for this and we want to start putting some of the parameters from this rig pose over into here for us to manipulate. So let's go specifically to um, for dude main. We'll start with that, and in this case here, we're going to lock the scale because we don't need the scale. But we could, we may want to rotate or scale that, uh, or rotate or translate. So we're going to put this over to here, and we're going to change the name of that to main translate, and we're going to do the same with rotate. We're going to call that main rotate. So that puts those controls there. So we press accept. That puts that into the asset. And you notice now we've got our controls here. And now if we want to, we can collect that main. And in the test rig, we can now actually move that. We'll go control Z. Now we can control that. Now if we go select the COG, we still can't because we haven't promoted parameters to it. Um, but we can when we do that. So let's go and do that with the other parameters. So we're going to go into here. And so for the rest of these guys, we need but we need exactly the same. So we're going to lock the parameter there, lock the parameter there. Now, in this case, we're going to lock that and translate. We don't we only want to rotate the pelvis uh, and the heel. We're going to lock that. So in each case, what we're going to do is drag these over. And we'll just call this translate. And drag this over. OK. Drag this one over. Now we can reorient these later, so this is it's not uh, pelvis rotate. Um, C oh C O G translate. C O G rotate. And then we got to do the same for the heel. So this one, let's put them here. So we're going to go heft heel translate and left heel rotate. So we've named all these. We will organize these a little bit later. Um, but we can organize those if we want to put the COG up there. If we wanted to, we could do that. Uh, if, we, um, if we want the pelvis up there, we could put that there. So we can do that. And press accept. And now, when we go to here, you'll see that we can actually um, manipulate, for instance, the COG. That currently is the only thing that moves the body. 
uh, although the pelvis will move the bottom part that's good um, and the, the legs can be moved and they they move independently they don't they're not controlled by that that's good and that's what we're looking for now let's take everything we've done so far uh, in this section here let's lower that down lower this down maybe lower a few of these here select all these joints and we'll put a network box around those and we'll call this main controls and there we go and there we go we built the main controls for the character that, that function now within the test rig uh, and we will uh, continue to add now to build up from here.